The story begins 300 years ago, that a large number of cracks suddenly appeared all over the world. Countless monsters that only exist in legends started to pour in, and secret realms started to appear. This event caused a huge destruction in the history of mankind. However, they also gained an opportunity. They started to awaken powers that humankind never imagined. These awakened people are called professionals. They kill the monsters and explore the secret realm to obtain resources and become stronger. Now now, don't leave the video yet. This is an amazing story but it begins like any other man was that has dungeons and all. In the present day, today is the day when many students awakens their talent. Teacher Lai Yu, who is an examiner of that exam of awakening. She calls a boy named Lin Lu to come up on the stage. Lin Lu is our MC of this manhua. He thinks very highly of himself, like he is not from that world, and obviously the most special existence among all students. He makes fun of other students present there, calls them ordinary people, and they should open their eyes wide open because he is going to rise to the highest point. He puts his hand on that magic ball to check his talent. A big bright light comes out after he put his hand on that magic stone. Other students are shocked to see that thinking Lin Liu must have awakened some very strong combat profession. Some are even jealous because he was just a normal and quiet student, but now he has awakened something very awesome. Lin Liu is also looking forward to what type of ability did he awaken, and this is going to be his time to shine, the most important step for him to rise up. However, the ability or the profession he awakened is a priest and a D-rank profession. The lowest profession, Teacher Lai Yu congratulates him for successfully awakened. Even though it's a D-rank profession, it is still a good profession because it's a support profession, which will be a great help to the team. The other students laugh at him, saying he is a nurse, and they only heard that girls are the one who awakens this type of profession. They are surprised to see a male nurse this time. That word, male nurse seems to have hurt him real hard. Some few guys come to comfort him saying that some people don't even awaken. Even though he is a male nurse now, he is still the main protector of the whole team and asks the male nurse Lin to let them see his power of nurse. He gets ready to show them his power when they are hurt and let them bleed to death. While that seems to make them realize that they do need male nurse to heal them when they gets hurt during their mission. They can't offend a priest after all. And now that they have understand how important he is, he tells them to stop calling him male nurse and call him daddy. And he is also shocked with this. He thought that he might awaken some A or B rank ability, but he awakened the lowest rank ability. He was dreaming of soaring in the sky like a dragon, but now he is going to help others to soar in the sky. His best friend Tang Cheng comes to comfort him, and Tang Cheng seems to have awakened a rank C ability, the knight. He gets ready to form a party with Lin Luo. However, Lin Luo doesn't think that they two are good match. One is like a blood and other is like a meat. They will be a punching sandbag for the monsters. Then another strong light appears. Someone seems to have awakened another D-rank ability. However, it was not a D-rank ability but an A-rank ability. It's a beautiful girl named Yi Ning, who has awakened the profession of Snow Princess. She even has changed into Snow Princess. Everyone is surprised however. They didn't expect anything less from the school most beautiful girl in the topper of their school. Lin Luo is also surprised, because that's amazing, she awakened in a rank ability and on top of that, she is now a snow princess. Teacher Lai congratulate her for awakening such an amazing profession. She is sure that Yining can choose any college from all over the country. After that, they continue with that ability awakening test. Many seem to have failed to awaken. Lin Luo gets ready to check his stats, and his attribute panel. He has all the details about his profession and all, his strength is 5, physique is 4, agility is 4, and his spirit power is 6. However, he also has a skill, a level 1 skill called Skin Explosion. He checks the detail of this skill and it's a mutated skill, which can make the target's skin brust instantly, ignores 50% of the target's defenses, and cause severe pain and bleeding damage. Lin Luo is surprised because this skill feels similar to the healing skill, but the effect is completely opposite. If healing can heal wounds and eliminate pain, this skill directly creates wounds and even adds salt to the wounds. It is not a skill that priests should have. And currently Lin Luo's level is low. And without skill points, new skills cannot be upgraded. He wonders what would be the upgrade of skin explosion. Then something hits his mind. What if his original skill was healing and it mutated into skin explosion? And if that's the case, then he can make his own mutated skills. He gets ready to try it, takes out his phone and starts to search for skills. Tang Cheng asks him what is he doing, and he is buying a skill book. It turns out to be that Lin Luo is an invincible rich second generation. Cheng asks him if his mother have returned. She's been away from home because of her profession. Her profession is a navigator. Lin Luo had conversation with his mother three months ago and she is on the other side of the sea now. Teacher Lai Yu congratulates everyone who have awakened their professions and those who haven't awakened. She tells them not to be discouraged because the road of life is still long. 
After that, they come outside from that exam hall. Lin Liu hurriedly gets ready to go back home to attend some urgent matter. He has ordered for two new skill and wants to see if he can mutate them or not. Yi Ning also wanted to comfort him but he left before she could comfort him. Next, Lin Liu's skill books arrive at his home, and this skill books of his are the red pill and the green pill, red is blood recovery and green is painkiller. Which one he is going to choose? Obviously he chooses the both that's why he bought two skill books. Those two skills get added into his skill, just like he thought. These skills changes to mutated skills. The blood recovery have mutated to blood fever. That instantly increased the blood temperature of the target's body by 2 to 5, causing internal injuries and apply negative effects like coma, nausea, sluggishness, etc. And the painkiller has mutated to pain intensification that can double the pain suffered by the target. He is happy that he got such an amazing skill. Now he wonders who would dare to treat him like a male nurse with this unique skill of his. Then he gets a message. It seems like Teacher Lai have added him into a group. Teacher Lai gives him some info about what is going to happen and that they should take rest. Because after 10 days, they will go to the tower to take exam. And also some more info about the exam and all. Since the exam is in 10 days, Lin Luo gets ready to show those who called him male nurse how strong he will be after 10 days. If you guys are enjoying it then please do 400 likes for part 2. Next day, Yi Ning and her friend are going to their class. Her friend notices that Yi Ning seems to be worried about Lin Luo. She blushes a little saying that she is not, but her friend can clearly see that she is. Her friend then informs her that things are going to be different from now on. After all, she awakened as in a ranked profession. After graduation she can enter any college across the country. But Lin Luo can't do that. So her friend suggests her to express her feeling to Lin Luo right now. Or she might not get a chance in the future. A guy named Yang Hao Ran comes there asking Yi Ning which college she is planning to enter. And he has awakened the profession of magic swordsman. Yi Ning's friend seems to know Hao Ran very well. He is Yang Heoran from class 1. And he has been pursuing Yi Ning for a long time, and now he has awakened in a rank profession. And most students are saying that Yi Ning and Hao Ran are good match just because they both awakened in a rank profession. But that doesn't mean Yi Ning will date him. Everything depends of Yi Ning. And it seems like Yi Ning doesn't like him. She informs him that her name is Lion Yi Ning, and he should call her with her full name. Friend is surprised because Yi Ning refused him directly without giving him any face. And now that Yi Ning have made herself clear, she leaves from there with her friend. And about the college, she informs him that he has nothing to do with it. This makes Hao Ran mad because he seems to know that she has secret crush on Lin Luo, that D-rank male nurse. Since Yi Ning didn't give him any face, he gets ready to show some face to Lin Luo. Next, in the Demon Rat Plains, it's located in the northwest of the demonized town, there are a large number of cunning demonized giant rats. The monsters are generally of low level, so they're suitable for novice professionals to level up to recommended levels. That is level 1 to 20. Lin Liu comes there in his clothes. Well, he has the clothes of a priest, and he came there because that area is close to his home. He gets ready to use this place to try his mutated skills. There are many people there who are looking for archer, mage and priest to hunt with them. A beautiful lady comes to Lin Luo saying he looks like the same age as her niece. She gets ready to protect him and asks him to join her team. And she wonders if he is a student who just awakened his profession. However, Lin Luo doesn't need anyone's help. He is there to hunt alone. The beautiful lady, her name is King. She found Lin Luo interested and wanted to protect him. The man standing beside her thinks that kid doesn't know how high the sky is. There are so many rookies in the demon rat plains who died in their first day. But he is confused what made his sister King to be interested in that kid. And she was interested in Lin Luo. Because even though he is a newly awakened newcomer, he was not like any other newcomers who are very excited and very expressive when they first go out for their first hunt. But Lin Luo, she notices that in his eyes, there was only calmness. Which shows that he is not only confidence but also can keep his composure, which is rare. Anyways, she gets ready to leave him on his own, and gets ready to go and take care of the special monster that one of their team member found. Man, the artist sure knows how to make a beautiful woman huh. Somewhere in the rat plane, the newbie are having trouble fighting those rats. One hit from those rats, their health dropped by half. Some are mad at those newbies because two grown men can't even kill a mouse. Lin Luo is also getting ready to hunt his first monster. And the demon rats, they are level 2 demon rats. And the attributes point of this rats are higher than Lin Luo. They also got some amazing skill. Lin Luo gets ready to try his first skill on this rat. His first skill turns out to be overpowered. It blew that rat into pieces. For killing that level 2 rat, he gains 60 experience points. Lin Luo is surprised because for an ordinary combat profession to kill that level 2 rat is very difficult. Yet, he, a priest killed it in a second. He then gets ready to try his second skill, the blood fever. He kills that level 2 rat and gains another 60 experience points. Lin Luo is surprised even though. 
This skill was not as powerful as his skin explosion, but it made the target lose its blood continuously. After that, he level up to level 1, his skill points have also increased by 1, and has also gained 4 attribute points. He gets ready to add all of his points to intelligence. Because he has a support class profession, casting speed and effects of skill are all connected with intelligence. Now that he has seen the effect of his two skills, he gets ready to use his third skill. However, the third skill didn't deal any damage to the rat, the rat jumps at him. He realizes that the pain intensification skill only doubles the target's pain. It doesn't deal any damage. He uses his skill explosion on that rat, which explode all of its skin. From this he understood that the rats can't withstand his skin explosion, and there is no need for him to increase the pain. After that, he starts to kill level 10 rat demons and gained 880 experience points. It has already been 6 days, and he has now reached to level 10. His skill point value has increased by 1 each, he has gained 4 attribute points and 1 skill point, and has also unlocked a new skill. With skill points, he can obtain new skills, and skill points are very limited. Skill points can only obtain in every 10 levels and they can acquire skills from skill tree, but is not as convenient as learning from skill books. He finds some interesting skills, like influenza and diarrhea. Suddenly the giant rat leader charges toward him. The attributes and the skills of this rat leader are crazy. Lin Luo dodges the rat, and it attacked Lin Luo because he's been killing many rats in the past few days. That's why he became the target of this rat leader. The rat attacks him with its sharp claws. Lin Luo uses his skin explosion and blasted its hand. Lin Luo is surprised because this skill of his ignores the defense of any monsters, not even the boss monstrous exception. Lin Luo uses two of his skill together, the blood fever and pain intensification. Lin Luo is surprised and happy because it takes 10 ordinary professionals to deal with this monster, but he is taking care of it all by himself. His mutated skills are just too powerful. Some people were watching his fight with that rat leader, and they didn't think that rat leader to be this weak. They come to Lin Luo and orders him to leave from there because all the monster in that area belongs to their Sea Star Guild. And if he doesn't get lost now, they gets ready to F him up. And I mean literally F him up. Just kidding. And Lin Luo also gets ready to see how will they F him up. He too wants to F them up with the new skill he just obtained. Next, Lin Luo is enjoying the weather of that rat plains, listening to the music and all. And the party who came to fight with him is fighting with the boss rat and they are facing some problems to fight with that rat boss. One bald guy of the group is worried more about Lin Luo than the boss rat, because he gave up that monster so easily. He doesn't think that Lin Luo is that kind enough, and just like he said, Lin Luo is not kind. He is attacking them with his diarrhea skill. They starts to feel the effect of Lin Luo's skill. Their stomach starts to make that gulugulu sound. Suddenly it becomes extreme. They are unable to hold it in, and releases the stuff that is inside their stomach. The power was so strong that even their pants got torn apart. Everything is coming out from their rear side. Their poop, fart, even the ladies of the group, he didn't spare them. The fart smells so bad like it's out of this world. Even the boss is shocked because the smell is so bad. It's more dangerous than poison bomb. Lin Luo then gets ready to take care of everyone there, and uses his diarrhea on the boss too, who is fighting with the boss rat. Poor boss also suddenly starts to have stomachache. He is feeling like something is about to burst out. Lin Luo then uses another skill of his on all of them including the rat boss. He kills them all. For killing the demonized giant rat boss, he has gained 16,700 experience point and has now reached to level 11. All of his attributes value has increased by 1 and has also obtained 4 attributes points. He has also obtained some item, equipment and skill book. He has obtained giant rat fur, giant rat fang, demonic rat eyes and skill book. He is surprised because normally, the boss only drop materials, the equipment's drop rate is very rare, and the skill book drop rate is 1 in a thousand. He wonders if hunting solo increases the drop rate. He equips the item, the giant rat's eyes, the ring increases his spiritual energy and recovery speed, and he was thinking if the equipment will also mutate after putting on but that didn't happen. He then gets ready to learn the new skill. And the skill is called Virus Transmission. After learning that skill and adding into his skill, it changes from Virus Transmission to Black Death Outbreak, a mutation skill that can spread the Black Death to a target or a certain area in a short period of time. It can freely control the outbreak time and it's contagious. The skill master can eliminate the Black Death virus at any time. Lin Luo is shocked to see that skill, the Black Death also known as Plague. It's highly contagious and deadly. It caused one of the most horrific plagues in history, killing almost 30 million people. Even though, his Black Death is only level 1, far from being that terrifying. 
but it can't be underestimate, because if it's combined with pain intensification, creating a highly lethal Plagueis is not a big problem. He then stores other material into his space pocket. Then the space behind him starts to crack. An undiscovered secret realm appears there. Secret realm Scarlet Altar. Difficulty hard. Level requirement level 10 to 15. Limit only 10 professionals can enter. Secret realms are different from dungeons. It contains large number of monsters, equipments, natural materials. If someone clears it, it will disappear after that. And also it won't open again until the people inside give up, die, or clear the secret realm. In addition, the rewards of the secret realm are far more precious than those of the same level dungeons. So every time, it appears, it'll cause professional riots. And these secret realms are divided into four levels. Normal, Hard, Nightmare, and Hell. The higher the difficulty the higher the reward. Lin Luo is little scared because the level of this secret realm is hard and he is alone. It will be difficult for him, he wants to go back and find help. But he is afraid someone else will take over the secret realm. So he gets ready to take this chance and enters inside the secret realm. Whether it's a blessing or disaster, he will have to find it inside the dungeon. The beautiful Lady King and her party also seems to have completed their job and are returning back. And the secret realm is right there from where they are passing by. She notices the secret realm. Everyone gets happy to find a secret realm, however, they are already at level 30 so they can't enter inside. But they gets ready to sell it. Seeing that it's newly opened secret realm, they are sure they will get at least 3 million for this for sure. King gets ready to give them 4 million. They are confused about why she wants that secret realm, and she wants it because her niece recently awakened as a professional. And calculating the time, she is sure that her niece is at level 10, so she wants to give this secret realm as a gift. And she has also already checked that there are only few novice nearby, so she is sure that there is no need to worry that anyone have entered inside the dungeon. After all, novice will never dare to enter inside a secret realm. But someone have already entered and has also got two tasks. One to eliminate all the monsters in the cave, and two to destroy the Scarlet Altar. System also gives an introduction about the cave and the monsters inside that cave. Lin Luo come across two monsters, and he didn't thought the tasks to be so difficult. The lizards are level 15 monsters and there are also some other info about them. They notice as Lin Luo hiding behind the wall, seems like they have keen senses. They start to chase Lin Luo. Lin Luo gets ready to use his skills, he uses skin explosion on one lizard dies instantly and for the other one, he uses his skill loose diarrhea, which releases some green substance from its rear side. Lin Luo regrets using his diarrhea skill because the smell is just too bad for him to even inhale oxygen. He comes outside from that green gas and notices something. That place is not that big, however, it's a huge cave with extremely poor ventilation, so he prohibits himself from using his diarrhea anymore. Otherwise, the smell will kill him before he kills them. Now that he can't use his diarrhea, he gets ready to use his new skill. Next, Lady King have gathered people to guard the secret realm. Her niece comes there and it turns out that Yi Ning is her niece. And Yi Ning seems to have found a glow cat cub, which also has the healing skill. She gets ready to keep it. Aunt is happy for her and informs her that she has a birthday gift for her niece. Her aunt found a very suitable secret realm for her. And she has also handpicked some bodyguards from the clan to protect her little niece. And each of them is at level 15. But then she is sure that Yining will get a good harvest from this secret realm, and she will be absolutely safe. The guards guarantee the safety of their Miss Yining with their life. Yining was thinking to gather her teammates by herself, but she can't refuse her aunt kindness, so she gets ready to go along with her aunt's plan. Aunt tells her to hurry up and get inside because if other families see this, they won't be able to avoid dispute with them. When Yining tries to enter inside, she gets pushed back by the energy of the secret realm, because someone has already entered inside. The guards are confused about who entered inside that secret realm, because none of their member entered inside, and they didn't see anyone slip through them earlier. And is also surprised. She thought there was only novice in that area, so they would not enter inside a secret realm. But she was wrong. She realized that those novice must have entered before she found that secret realm. She gets ready to wait until that ignorant rookie is dead. Inside the secret realm, Lin Luo is killing those lizard with his black death. It seems like his black death is super overpowered, because he is killing level 15 demonized lizard so easily, and has even reached to level 12 now. However, there are still many lizard near the Scarlet Altar, but the ventilation there is very poor and the density of monsters is also very high, that way, his black death can spread quickly in wide area. If he infects those monsters by his black death, he can level up just by lying down on the side. But he has a problem, he can't just rush in and use his skill. There are too many lizards down there, they will eat him alive before his black death takes its effect. So he gets ready to find a pathogen, however. The average lizard has a limited range to go to, so, they can't bring virus into a wide area. Then he notices some monsters petroling behind him. The beautiful white lizard piques his interest. 
because this white lizard is more powerful than the other average lizard. Best lizard for Lin Luo to use is Pathogen. He uses his Black Death on that White Lizard. The Black Death enter inside the White Lizard's body. The White Lizard suddenly stops and starts to shake. His lackeys gets worried about him because he looks stiff. However, the White Lizard didn't think that much about it and continue their petroling. And now all that left for Lin Luo to do is just sit back and watch the show. He can already feel that the virus has spread to every corner. And what's more, the Lizard doesn't have any hygienic habits. Even if they see a spot in their body, they would just think it's a dirt. Now that everything has been settled, he gets ready to begin his final show, the Black Death Outbreak. Then suddenly, the lizard starts to die. Experience points for killing those lizards starts to flow. Lin Luo's level starts to increase rapidly. Just in few minutes, his level increased by 6 levels and he has now reached to level 18. However, some elite monsters are still breathing. He gets ready to take care of them personally. Then he notices one lizard who is still standing. He hasn't fallen to his knees like the other lizards. Turns out, it's the Crimson Lizardman Priest, and the leader of all the lizard there, his level is 20, and his skills are crazy. Lin Luo thought that these were just some elite monster, he never thought to see the boss monster so soon in there. What's more, that leader is a priest. Lin Luo gets ready to take care of him before he uses his healing skill. Lin Luo uses his skin explosion which breaks that lizard's hand. Lin Luo then uses all three skills of his simultaneously on that lizard. He manages to kill the lizard. He is relieved that he managed to kill that boss monster because it was already in its weak state. But the system is not notifying him about killing that lizard. He notices some elite monsters crawling toward him. He gets ready to take care of those elite's lizard. They all jumps at the boss monster and starts to eat the boss monster. After eating the boss monster, they all fuse together and turn into a one big monster. The lizard has evolved to violent mutated albino lizard priest, level 21. Now the lizard has become triple in size of what it was before, and Lin Luo is shocked to see the attribute values and the skills of that monster because it's a combination of a melee and mage. What's more, Lin Luo is totally exhausted right now. The lizard jumps at him with its big weapon. Lin Luo manages to dodge it, takes out a MP potion to recover his MP. However, the monster didn't give him a chance to use that potion and attacks him with its skill charge. Just after that, the monster uses another skill, the blood entanglement which comes at Lin Luo like missiles. Lin Luo also uses his Black Death at that monster after drinking little bit of potion. But the monster dodges the attack and the Black Death hits a dead lizard. And Lin Luo was also not targeting at the boss monster, he was targeting the dead bodies around that boss monster. The lizard charges at him. He also attacks the lizard with his Black Death multiple times. He keeps on attacking that lizard with his Black Death skill. He has finally drank that potion. And his MP is restored now. And the lizard seems to be overconfidence now, because none of Lin Luo's attacks hit him. After attacking that boss monster with his Black Death almost all the corpses has been filled with his Black Death skill. And now the virus in those corpses are extremely concentrated. He gets ready to use all of his mana for one skill and see what will happen if those corpses were to explode. He gets ready to see what kind of virus feast will this explosion bring. Because of too much of virus around that boss monster, his body start to get affected by the virus. The boss lizard also gets exploded along the other monster lizards. For killing the violent mutated albino lizard priest, he gained two skill points. His level has increased to level 20. All his attributes have increased by one point. He also gained four attribute points and one skill point. And there are other item drop from the lizard monster. Crimson Fury Staff, Bloodlust Active Skill, Invoke Summoning Active Skill. With this skill, he can summon Lizardman Warrior with 80% of his total attribute value. He can control up to nine summons. There is also Steel Meteor Hammer. He then gets ready to learn some skills. More skill have appear in his skill tree, like the mental confusion and Alzheimer's technique. Even, Lin Luo is surprised to see the skills appearing in the skill tree. He gets ready to learn the influenza virus skill for now. Then gets ready to pick up the stuffs from the monsters he haven't picked up before. And those stuffs, he gets ready to sell them to get some money. After picking up those stuffs, he is now breaking the Scarlet Altar. And to do that he has summoned some lizard man warriors. They find a stone inside that rock with a letter D in it. And it's a demonized rune, special prop. The rune has its effect, and it has three effects. And to use the effect two and three, the rune is not at that level to use those two effects. Lin Luo thinks that this is his biggest reward from this secret realm, because it's an upgradable item. And now that he has cleared that secret realm, he gains 100,000 experience points. His level also increased to level 24. Attribute values have also fixedly increased by four, and he has gained 16 attribute points now and has also gained 10,000 gold coins. He has also obtained special items, like Resurrection Cross, Sticks Contract, and an exclusive career transfer certificate, a special title, Pioneer. 
and has obtained two skill points. There is more. Exclusive hidden profession change book. He can use only after he reached level 30. Next, Ant King and He Ning were still waiting outside the secret realm. Lin Luo comes out from the secret realm. Seeing him coming out alone, Ant King thinks that all of his team members must have been killed. She remembers him from before, the little brother she wanted to protect, and tells him not to worry and feel sad because this is what every professionals have to go through once in their life. And Lin Luo is confused about what she is saying. Then Ni Ning notices him. She is now super worried seeing him in that condition and asks about his teammates. And why did he enter inside such a dangerous dungeon? Lin Luo informs her that he was just hunting solo and doesn't have any teammates. He gets ready to leave from there because he has to take the stuffs he found in the secret realm and trade it for money. Yi Ning also follows him, and seeing their young lady like that, the guards are worried. Then one guard notices the secret realm is disappearing. Ant King gets shocked thinking how is that possible. She wonders if that little brother actually cleared the secret realm all by himself. Next, Yi Ning stops him saying even though, those guard of hers and her aunt doesn't believe him, but she believes in him and she knows that he won't lie. However, he doesn't care whether they believed him or not. If that's the case, she is fine with it, and asks him if she can form a team with him in the exam team competition. He remembers about this exam team competition. Team are organized in the group of three, and the results are determined according to the number of floors they rated. And there is also individual competition, one-on-one -on -one fight in the arena, based on the result. Not only they can be selected by a good college, but they may also be eligible for a special award. And Lin Luo is confused about why she wants to form a team with a D-ranked priest. And she wants to form a team with him because it's more comfortable to team up with people she knows, and she wants to go with him. He is finding it weird, but gets ready to form a team with her. Next, he has arrived at home. And on his way home, he sold all the equipment that he doesn't need. And combined with the gold he got from the monsters, he has made a lot of money. The exchange ratio between gold coins and common currency is 1 is to 10. If he redeem all the gold, it will be more than 500,000. It's more than his mother's annual salary. Shang comes there and he is super worried about his brother because his brother didn't level up with the teacher at the school. He was worried thinking his brother lost his mind after awakening that D-rank profession. Lin Luo shuts him up and informs him about the reason he called him there. He has brought some items for Cheng. Cheng is shocked to see the beast sword and armor and both are bronze level. He asks Lin Luo which rich man did he rob. Lin Luo informs him that he went to the rat plains to level up and gets ready to form a team with Cheng for the exam and go to one of the top 10 college. This makes Cheng super happy. He even gets ready to call Lin Luo daddy. Next, Yi Ning's father is mad at her because she rejected to team up with the young master of the Dongfang family, who awakened an S-ranked profession, and he doesn't know which useless idiot is his daughter is going to team up now. She gets mad at her father and informs him that Lin Luo is her friend and he is amazing. He cleared a secret realm all by himself, he is no worse than Dongfeng He, and she is sure that he might be even better than Dongfeng He. Father wonders if her friend really cleared that secret realm all by himself then he must be S rank or at least in a rank profession. She informs him that he's a D rank priest, which makes her father angry because no one in their right mind would believe that a D rank priest cleared a secret realm all by himself. His sister also believes he Ning because she was also there, although Lin Luo is a D rank priest on the surface. She is sure that he is definitely hiding some secrets, since his sister have also said it. He tells Yi Ning to do whatever she likes. Next, the exam day. In the trial tower, a lady named Bing Bing is doing live broadcasting informing her viewers that more than 20,000 new professionals will enter the trial tower for assessment. The tower has 1,000th floors and legends has it that if someone can reach the 1,000th floor, he can break through the restriction between humans and gods and become gods instantly. However, this is just an exam, and the new professionals who can reach 20th floor is already an incredible genius. Bing Bing then announces the geniuses of this year who awakened S rank profession. First is the blondie, her name is Murong Zuin, who has the S rank profession of angel. Second is also an S rank dragon rider, Dong Feng He, who is said to have hatched at a flame dragon from the egg that came with his awakening. And third, the masked guy, he is also an S rank profession, the unparalleled sword. Lin Luo and Cheng have also arrived there, and Cheng is worried because their third member haven't arrived yet. And he also doesn't know this third member of their team is. Yi Ning also arrives there and she was late because there are so many people there. And she was having trouble finding him. Cheng gets super happy to see that the third team member is the most beautiful girl of their school. They then gets ready for the trial that is about to begin. Dong Feng was keeping an eye on those three. And he seems to be a little mad because Yi Ning rejected him and form a team with some idiots. One of his team member bring Hao Ran to him. And Dong Feng have also done some background check on Hao Ran. He knows everything about Hao Ran's father and his mother, and that Hao Ran have awakened in a rank profession, magic swordsman, 
Hao Ran is shocked to find out that Dongfeng seems to have investigated his background. He is worried thinking what is this Dongfeng planning to do with him. Dongfeng asks Hao Ran to join his team because someone rejected his team and he is short on members right now. Hao Ran gladly gets ready to follow him. But if he joins Dongfeng, his two teammates he had before won't be able to take the test. However, he doesn't care about those two anymore. Now that he has got the golden thigh to hang on, he is not going to let this chance escape from his hand. Dongfeng then asks Hao Ran about the other genius from his school named Lian Yining. Hao Ran informs him that her profession is a spiritual snow princess, and asks Dongfeng that if he has fallen in love with her. Dongfeng thinks that she has the potential to reach S class, but he thinks she is stupid because she rejected his team, which shows that she is short-sighted person. And as for falling in love with her, he thinks there is only one woman worthy of being attracted by him, and that is the youngest daughter of the Mirong family, Mirong Suhan, the number one S rank blondie beauty. And Mirong is surprised to heard that Yining actually rejected to join a team with Dongfeng. And there is a hot lady in her team and a knight who is ready to protect her with his life. And the hot lady is sure that the first place will definitely be theirs. However, Zuhan doesn't care about the ranking. All she wants is the world's marvelous artifact. And it's the prize for the winner. The exam then begins. Students get prepared to enter inside the tower. Lin Luo and his team arrive at the first floor. Just as they arrive there, the monsters charges toward them without giving them any break. Lin Luo gets ready to show off his skills to his team members. But all the monsters get freeze. Thanks to Yining, the snow princess who frees them all, she tells Lin Luo to stay back and that she will protect him. Princess doesn't know how strong his diarrhea can get. Poor guy wanted to show his team members how strong he is even though he is just a D-rank priest. But she stole his light. And, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it then watch this video popping on the side. Also like and subscribe for more. And stay tuned because next is going to be a big kaboom.